Good morning. Good morning. Is this a new favorite Florida lake? No, I still like the Harris chain better. This is a pretty good one. This is a good one. This is a very, very got good some one. Bigs. Got some bigs in here. Yesterday, old Swindle caught two bigs. I didn't catch any bigs. But you caught one of the I caught what? One of the dozen. Yep, I caught. I think I had a four, a four and a half, and a three and a half yesterday. But that's because I fished them. You know, if you're if you power pole down and try to fish for a pound and a half, or, all you're gonna catch is a pound and a half. Or. So you just can't do that. But I did that. That no, wasn't plan today. Plan today, you just go try to catch them. I got a couple techniques I kind of want to work on. It's a really good lake for working on it. So we're gonna do a few different things today. I got a couple baits I don't have much confidence in that work really good in Florida. And we're gonna try to gain us some confidence in those baits. So, and also, we're gonna do a decent bit of looking for a big one. That's a valuable thing to do. Let's see what we got here. Old gummy pliers. Gotta have them gummy pliers in the boat to get the gum hooks out. Because when they hit it going 257 miles an hour, you're gonna get them hooked every which way. Because that one came like eight feet in about 0 0.02 seconds. He's faster than this boat right here. But he got it. There's another one following it slowly. Like I was jerking it and I could see a fish following it. And every time I jerk it, the fish would follow it. And that fish on bottom saw that fish following it and came up and took it from it. Straight up stole it from it. That's what you get. Teeny weeny. He came up there good on it. He just a little teeny one. Teeny one. God, destroyed it. Little one, little one, little one. Look how fat these offshore ones are. Just Tell us what you're doing. super fat. We're out here just scanning around, edge of some grass, looking for a little anything, irregularities with a fish sitting in it, and we throw in a jerker, jerker to it. A little jerker jerker to it. Stuff actually, nothing revolutionary. It'd been revolutionary if I could have did this about six years ago with live scope, but the technology was not there where it is now to have this type of detail and accuracy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, gosh. I don't think this is a bass because it looked too long on the dang screen. Oh, I got a freaking giant one. Oh my God, dude, I got like a 10. Oh, dude, it was so long on the screen. I'm talking about like a 10. Dude, I got a giant. Dude, it was so long on the screen. It, it ain't a 10, but it's like a freaking eight or something. Dude. Oh, look at it. Oh my God. It ain't that big. It's huge. Oh, Lord have mercy. Don't be rolling. Don't be doing no crazy stuff. Just come right over here, big girl. 
<laughs> oh gosh. It ain't that big. You like Florida? Yeah, I like Florida. It's not it's not that big, but it's big. It's a big jerk bait fish. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it looks so long on the screen, I was like, could not possibly be a bass. But then I was like, no, it's a bass. It came up beside the tank. Come up. Let's get my old Rapala, trusty Rapala skill out. We have caught some hammers since we've been in Florida, haven't we? Sevens and eights, like it ain't no problem. This is like so different. Like in Alabama, we what do you think this would be? Like what do you think this is going to weigh? I think it's more than your other one. More than 840? You don't? I think it's uh, seven and three quarters. It's right at seven and a half. It's bouncing all around. I think it's long. 749. You putting live well? I need you to feel up the live well with the Yeah, me too. Every day, like Alright, so we're out here fishing today. Hunter said in the next video, and she's the director, producer, editor, filmer, everything. She said that we will make a video answering all the questions that y'all put in the comments to this video. Answer every single question. She ever got something y'all want to know? Leave me a comment on it. Dude, I had a freaking basketball on, on behind mine. I mean a daggum basketball. Pretty little fish, probably close to two pounds. So we've made a little move. Obviously, I was out there doing a little, little jerking offshore. I've, I've done that quite a bit, though, you know, and I kind of want to broaden my horizons as far as fishing in Florida goes because, you know, I about hit a bird right in the face, that cast. A lot of the times we start our year down here, almost every single year, I think. Every year that I've been on the elites, we've started our year down here. So the more time that I get to fish down here, the better. And the more different techniques that I understand exactly how to implement, the better it's gonna be for me long-term. So I'm really trying to today do a couple of techniques. One thing I really do not like fishing is this Kissimmee grass in general. I know they catch them really good flipping it. I've caught them flipping it. I've caught them, you know, throwing swim jigs in it. All kinds of stuff. But it was coming right at you, but luckily it didn't. Okay, so that's what you don't want to do with this type of bait is set the hook like that. That's how you want to set the hook right there. Let them get it for a second and then set the hook. But first bite of the day, it's easy to want to set the hook like that. So we moved up here to the Kissimmee grass. This lake is phenomenal and just got tons of fish in it. They've been in this uh, grass since the first day, caught some swimming a jig. But if y'all watch my videos very often, y'all know I swim a jig a lot. I feel like I got a decent feel for that and what to do with that. This bait right here is just a little bit different, a little bit less maintenance. You kind of just sling it out there and wind it, you know? The hook I'm using is a little bit too small. I was throwing a little bit of a different soft plastic on this hook before I put this one on. And this one is, you know, just frankly a little too small of a hook. But it's okay. I hooked that one good as long as I let them get it for a second. But you have to let them get it. That's one of the things I'm trying to do is train my brain, which I throw a frog a lot. There's just something different about whenever you're straight winding something and they eat it. I don't give them enough time sometimes and that's one of the main reasons I want to do this technique because I know I made a mistake last year on Mississippi River. A couple, couple of times I set the hook just a little bit too early 
and you can't do that with this type of presentation. And, but you know, it was a tournament. Yeah, they kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't really expecting to get a bite in this one area and I ended up getting three or four bites. I missed every one of them, but I think two of them were very small. One of them looked like it was actually a pretty good one. And I pulled the bait away from him, so. You know, we all do it every once in a while. I don't care how good you are, how many comments you make saying that, you know, somebody else did it wrong. We all do it wrong sometimes. It's just a fact of the matter. I have found me a couple of them on bed. One of them's a nice one. One of them's a little male. Oh gosh, there's a grown one up in there. Oh, there she is. Oh, no, dude, she's big. Hell yeah. That was the male. She's in there right now. Dude, my heart is pounding. Dude, she's acting right. She's on it. She's on it. She's on it. She got it. No, that's the male. Dude. Yeah. Hope I didn't jack it up. Dude, she came up and nosed. And I thought it, I didn't even see him. Dude, I can't hardly stand up there. My legs are shaking. She's right here, dude. This could be it. Got her. Dude, my bad. How big is that? Look at that sucker. That's gonna be filthy, dude. It was so. I see you set the hook before you set it, right? And like, and I hit it by mid hook set. And so I, I got most of that. About 90% of it, I bet. Maybe even more. Dude, it's the same size as the other one 749. Hung on that pad. Should we, look, should we weigh him for our best five today? I'm done with him. Are you? I guess the best thing for you to do would be to aggravate him until she gets more aggressive and just hope eventually she bites it instead of him. He's too aggressive, isn't he? Yeah. He, he, don't, he don't have it though. He does now. Dude, this is awesome. If you can see this right now on the camera, this is so cool. I think he just hooked himself. Let it go, bro. Tight. 
That was so cool. This is so awesome that you can do this. Like, it's really cool. I'm scared I'm gonna like snag them. Alright, Hunter. Wait, give, us, I, give us the 411. We accidentally scared the girl. But I know I can catch the boy like the first cast. So I guess I'm just gonna catch him and then we'll go look for a bigger fish. Do you wanna step off the trolling motor? No, because this is gonna be good. So people can see that I can do this just like you can. Alright, there he is. He's up there. Let me know that big. How, how big do you think he's gonna be, Hunter? I think he's gonna be. He left now. He ain't never left. Oh. She's back now. Yeah, baby. Get it. Get it. Oh. All right. Are y'all ready? Just imagine I like fall in something hook on it. I'm gonna let him have it and let him keep it and try to set the hook. I couldn't, I couldn't go. She was there. I was, I wanted him to let it go. All right, catch him. All right. You want me to tell him? Yeah. I'm just going to catch the boy because the girl's being crazy. Hello. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. But I just wanted to warn you because they like to run up and down the dock. Right, that, that'll be okay. Alright, cool. Chunk it back. Huh? Go ahead and release it. Do you want me to put him back on his bed? No, just drop him right here. Maybe he was still up there. It's a pretty one. Show us what you got. Wombo one. But that one like. Um, seven, eight. Big one. God. Do a six pounder. She's right there. What? No, I was on that bed right there. I just threw to it from way out. The male's still up there. Shall I let you catch her? I don't know, like six and a half, seven. Mm -hmm. All right, we got Hunter up here, a little keyed up. What you got? A big one on bed. Big one. Big, big. When she, put that she took it out that way. You you would have landed her that time for sure. She's right up there. I've lost her. Hunter's lost her. I think Hunter's a woman for the job, though. I think she'll catch her now. She's on it already. She's got it already. Oh my gosh, go! Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> go get her. <laughs> 
Just hold it. To beat my lake PV, it's gotta be over 5'3". 542. Is that bigger than 5'3"? Yep, that's the 5'7". Thank <laughs> you.